it's Shantae Marie here and today we are going to be doing a tag video. So I haven't done one of these in a really long time but I was on YouTube trying to figure out what I wanted to do like to come back because I've been gone for quite a while which I do kind of explain in the next video that y'all are going to see on my channel. Uh, but I was watching Jacqueline Hill's tag that she did yesterday and I just was really I don't know, I guess inspired to do one of my own. I never was able to do the tag, what did it used to be called? It used to be called the Holy Grail, where you told your Holy Grail products, and this tag definitely reminded me of that. I started YouTube kind of after that tag was really popular. I actually also wanted to do this because I was kind of disappointed in the comments that were left on Jacqueline's video. There's just so much hate that's going on on YouTube, and I haven't been making videos, but I have been watching videos a lot since I've been gone and it just seems like nobody can make a video anymore that there's like anything nice to really be said. I just feel like everybody's going out of their way to just be so hateful and it's just like disheartening. So I was like I'm about to get on here and I'm gonna freaking make this tag video just to show my support for other YouTubers and their channels because no matter how much hate there is, like, there are people who watch that do like you. So, I'm going to get on with the tag so that I stop blabbing because it's been about two minutes now. And that's two minutes too long. So. The first item that I can really not live without is a foundation that was so popular when it first came out. Now, it's kind of dropped off. Like, I don't really hear people using it anymore. But I literally fell in love with the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. This is better on my skin than any high-end foundation that I actually have. So I do wear MAC and I do wear Estee Lauder Double Wear, which I'm wearing today, but it's blatantly just so that I can like salvage this because I buy it so frequently. And they did raise the price of this, so it's it bummed me out, but I was like, I think that this is better than my MAC foundation, so I'm gonna keep buying it. But I like it because when I don't have enough time for concealing blemishes or anything like that. I feel like this really covers it up and it also does really well with oily skin. So I'm probably not going in the same order that Jacqueline did, but I'm gonna go on to concealer because this is what I would probably use next. And this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I use the color Medium and it's actually, actually the Eraser Dark Circles one, which is why I like it the most because I feel like when I have really bad under eye bags, it just like brightens and conceals those so well. My all over face powder is definitely freaking something that I cannot live without. It doesn't matter if I'm wearing the cheapest of the cheap makeup, it really, I have to use this. Like Makeup Forever HD powder is a staple if you have oily skin. I have not been able to find anything comparable to this. I've tried everything that I can really think of and in, in products that think that they can compare and I haven't found anything I go back to this it don't matter if this costs $70 I'm still go buy it because it is the only thing that will keep me matte like my nose is a big feature on my face and it's the first thing that gets oily every time so I have to have my makeup forever HD powder as far as setting my concealer under my eyes, I'm really kind of like new, I guess, to doing this because if I'm in a hurry, my HD powder can just cover everything and I'm fine. But if I'm taking the time to bake and whatnot, I am using the Airspun Translucent Powder. I literally, I like this. It matches my complexion. Like it just does really well with my skin tone. So I'm going to keep doing because even though it says it's translucent, there's a little bit of a hue to it if you've tried it out before. And this is super cheap, but I do want to give the Laura Mercier, is that who it is? Yeah. No. I might be getting that wrong. There's, there's, some, there's another one that I really want to try to use, but Airspun is something that I will probably keep around for freaking ever because I just, I love it and it works and it matches and it's golden and it's cheap as hell. So next was highlight, contour, and blush, which today I'm not wearing the blush that I usually wear or the highlight that I usually wear, but 90% of the time, 
this is what I'm wearing and something that I cannot live without. So I showed this 8 million bajillion times since I've gotten it, but it's the Lorac Tantalizer. It just works with my skin no matter how light or dark I am, but it has the bronzer and the highlight in the same thing. And I'm all about convenience, so when I'm traveling or anything, I would rather just take this than have to take a million different things, but this is my ride or die. Like, I cannot live without the Lorac Pro Tantalizer. As far as blush goes, I've been using the same blush since I started YouTube. It is the NARS Outlaw blush, and basically every blush that I get is so similar to this color, but it does have little flecks of gold in it. So I love this. It's lasted me so long. I just don't know. I don't know if I can live without it. Like, I just, I don't think that that's even a possibility. So, we're, we're, as far as eyeshadows go, Jacqueline did say to pick a palette in the tag video. So, I had to really think about what one I wanted to use. But the one that I constantly go back to is my Naked 2 palette. And I just like this because I feel like I can literally do so many things with it and when it comes to the tones that I usually wear I feel like this palette has them all for me. So my mascara that I cannot live without is definitely my Maybelline Lash Stiletto mascara. I am currently trying out new ones. I do like I get new mascaras and I try them, try them out but I always have this as backup and I always end up like topping it off with this anyways. So this is a holy grail product for me and my ride or die because I just it makes my eyelashes look fake I mean I've had people come up and ask me what falsies I'm wearing and I'm like these are my real lashes and it's all credit to this bad boy right here so lipsticks I tend to like stick to the same ones all the freaking time but this is definitely a ride or die for me because if I'm in a hurry I don't have time for eyeliner I don't have time for any of those shenanigans so when MAC came out with these, I was honestly shocked at how much I ended up liking this and using it. But it is in the color Oh Honey. And it's just like this giant little chubby stick that you sharpen like you would an eyeliner. But it just looks great no matter what eyeshadow I look. So it has to be a ride or die. And then finally my makeup setting spray. I honestly have not had this makeup setting spray in quite a while because I have been using the NYX Shine Control one and that is just because I do not have an Ulta or a Sephora near me. I'm from the Midwest and if I want to get to one of those it's like an hour and a half drive minimum. So I finally went and re-picked it up but I could not live without this. I don't have to blot my face nearly as much when I have this in my life and it is the Urban Decay D Slick um, makeup setting spray. So if you've never tried this I recommend that you try it. Get it. Get it in your life. <laughs> all right. So that is all for this tag video. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if there's any other videos that you would like to see on my channel, please leave them in the comments below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.